Okay, our goal is to merge these two together. Average acceleration equals change in velocity over time, and average velocity equals change in position over time. Now, our goal here again is we want acceleration, displacement, and time all present. So where we need to find a merging value is here in the velocity. So what I'm going to do is expand what these two units are. So we're going to move the t over on this side and say t times a equals, now change in velocity is just vf minus vi. On this side, average velocity, we take the final and the initial added together and divide by 2. So there's our first step. Now we want to find a common term here, so I'm going to put the two vfs together so that we can solve everything in terms of vf. So on this side, if I add vi, I have vi plus at equals vf, which we had as one of our simple equations. And then over here, I want to multiply the 2 across and subtract the vi off. So I'm going to have vf equals 2 delta x over t minus vi. Now I can set these two equal to each other. I'll change colors here for a second, and we can say vi plus at equals 2 delta x over t minus vi. Now, we want to keep combining terms and all that moving forward, so I'm noticing vi on both sides. So if we add vi, add vi, I'd have 2 vi over here plus at equals 2 delta x over t. I don't like that t on the bottom, so we're going to multiply by t on both sides and have 2 vi t plus a t squared equals 2 delta x. And I don't like this 2, so we're going to divide everything by 2. And our final form of this is going to be delta x equals, these 2's cancel out on this, we get vi t plus, and then the 2 underneath there, 1 half at squared. And that is one of our key fancy equations that connects our displacement with acceleration when we know what time it takes.